Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh, I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I, I think so. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. We'll sit tight. And okay. that is... That is true. Good is good. Yeah, so she's hungry. But I need to find something to eat. Like this energy bar. How about that? Hey, Clem. Everything okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, oh wait, there we go. Not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. You took care of Clementine. Great. Another energy bar. I'll take that. I like to hoard things in games. I'll take that one. These are all my energy bars now. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Huh, huh. And not now. Uh, not right now. All right, let me know if you want to. Here, I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. Well, I didn't really want to give her that one, but okay. You're I want to thank her. Shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kind of cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. Hmm. So, how do you end up here? How do you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Oh, check the batteries. There's no batteries in this thing. What now? Do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. you, you're sure about that? No. I can try Isn't that the first thing you were supposed to be looking at? I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Okay, so we need batteries, medicine, and... Um, we already talked to him. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. The pills are in there. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. 
You didn't have to call me a bitch in front of my people. I don't need that shit, all right? It's hard enough to be in charge of people's lives without some dick cutting you down. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. Do you want your pills or not? You know what? I'm gonna get back to him now. Yeah, you go. Go for it. Getting upset for calling you bitch in times like this? Yeah. Don't need that. Let's get his pills. But is Clementine coming with us? I can't. I can't think about them in here. There's a photo over there. There's a photo over there. There's a photo over there. What's he do? Wait, is that me? Find anything? Just a picture of whoever was here. I know who you are. I do? You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? Uh, no. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. How can I trust you? You can't, I suppose. But you don't have many other options. Well, she got that right. Everyone seems okay to you? Everyone out there seem all right to you. Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. And there was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for her. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. My parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. First aid kit. This could uh, be handy. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. But are we not going to take something? I mean, there's be some useful stuff in here.
What's that? This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. How are you doing? How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay. Here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? He doesn't like to talk about it. Um, what do your parents do? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Well, I can't say that they're dead. Let. I hope not. It's complicated. I hope not. It's just complicated. That's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things were a bit different. Yeah. I got into some trouble and, and I didn't talk to him for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, let's get this done. Ow! You okay? Oh no. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. There's a first aid kit. Yeah, there it is. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. There we go. He's fine. Lee? Yeah. yeah. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll find us. Lee? They'll uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Dad kept the remote for that thing in here someplace. Maybe in the door. Ta da! It's the remote to my dad's TV. Uh, 
That's what I figured. Well, that... That's bad in a game. How you doing? Okay. You wanna talk? How's your finger? How's your finger? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. And how do we do that? I guess we have to go outside. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I... Uh... Why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, he wasn't. Oh, was he bad? He was. Don't lie to her, not like that. Now look at him. Screw them. Acting like they own the place. That's true. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. Hey there. This is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, alright? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Yeah, we'll do that, but first we... I just got some batteries for you. And I want to talk to... Uh, Kenny. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. I'm still looking for batteries for that day. Thanks. I appreciate it. Wait, we need one more? Hmm. Try to get some rest, hun. How can I with those things I don't out there? I remember them very well. It's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Hey, Lee. You really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. 
What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? Yeah, they're they're gone. They actually own this place. They uh, own this place. They're gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they're dead. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. I panicked, you know. I'm not proud of it. Uh, it happens, but... It happens. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. Yeah, that's rough. I killed that boy. We could have saved him together. You didn't have a choice. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. So we just need one more battery. I don't think there is not any more batteries in here. We might have to go outside. Hey, Connie. Wait. I better get back to it. Yep. Thanks, by the way. Don't mention it. Just remember what I said. Yeah, I will. The remote. I found this remote in the office, but I'm pretty sure the batteries won't fit. It needs the big stumpy ones. Yeah, these are no good. I found this remote in the oh. office, but oh. I'm pretty sure the batteries won't fit. It needs the big stumpy ones. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. Good. Hey there. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. Okay, we don't want to use the gun actually. Let's try to not use it. Did you see that? Sure did. Be ready to shoot. Guys! Oh man, I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn! Uh, right then wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me. And I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about it if it was you. Fine. 
Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Uh, where are, where are we? There's nice there. Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly, noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. Okay, like I said, there's an axe over there. Trying to get into a room, but I didn't see anyone actually in there. Oh man, she's eating something. So we got that one right there, close. We can hide by that RV if we're quiet and keep our heads down. There's a pillow over there. That's about as far as I got when it came to supply gathering. I might have an idea for it. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. So what are we using the pillow for? We can hide by that pickup. The girl's behind that door. Those two seem to be on the scent. An age-old problem. And I got one pillow and two corpses. An age-old problem. So we need to find something else. gonna do with that i don't really know do you have any tricks for getting into cars not without tools or making a bunch of noise and none with pillows Plug. Okay. 